one of those players, David. What started off on a positive note for Papua New Guinea descended into self-destruction for the home side against a mediocre Tahiti. Both sides had appeared largely equal, both in terms of possession and attack. However, the surprising send-off of midfielder David Brown after 25 minutes had the audience in an uproar. It's a straight red card. An innocuous aerial contest between Brown and Tamihau Tiatia had the referee Salish Chand pull out a straight red card, disadvantaged Papua New Guinea and Yellow angered card. many. Tahiti would use that extra man as well as poor sportsmanship to disrupt PNG. There were issues by the home side in the build-up. Raymond Gunamba's two yellow cards from the OFC Nations Cup ruling him out and the password issues regarding the three other potential first 11 players would eventually work against PNG. Fleming Saritslev's obvious first 11 for the match had been influenced by this decision with five players under the age of 23 making the debuts. Tahiti, for their part, spent a lot more time on the ground than they did playing football. Physically bigger than their Melanesian opponents, the crowd at the Sedrangai Stadium was little impressed with the diving by the visitors. In the post-match, PNG coach Fleming Saritslev was ruling the loss of two of his important players. Our own game spoiled after 15 minutes due to the red card of uh, David Brown, but I actually have to uh, praise uh, the players for keeping the mood high, keeping their heads high. I can't blame them anything. They actually fought the best they could. PNG now travelled to Tahiti at a two-goal disadvantage and a largely weakened side. Dini Rose Raiko, National MTV Sports.